Hello, this is William from Visual Components. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and edit Python snippets. Now, a snippet is code that you can reuse in a Python script. So you will need access to a text editor and either Visual Components Professional or Premium. To get started, open a text editor. I will be using Notepad++. And a very basic snippet is to get the application object. So I will say app equals get application. And let's also get the component of the Python script that's using this snippet. So I'll say comp equals get component. Now these two methods are coming from a module named VC script. So make sure you're importing that module and these methods whenever you use this snippet. The next step is to save this file and you want to save it in your Visual Components Documents 4.0 My Templates Python Editor Code Snippets. So this is the folder where you want to store your snippets. Notice you have two by default, an action script and a basic snippet. And notice the names are the names of the snippets. So let's save our file here. And the file name is also the name of the snippet, so I'll just call it example and give it the Python file extension of .py. I'll save and notice that file is now here in my code snippets folder so I can use it in my 4.0 product. And I'll show you how to do that now. So I'm using Visual Components Premium. I'll go to the modeling tab and quickly create a new component with one box or block feature. I'll then go to behaviors group and create a Python script and just put the cursor wherever you want to insert the snippet and you can click this command here in the toolbar or use a shortcut that is control plus J and here are the snippets you can choose from so we want to use the example snippet you can press the enter key or double click it and it inserted that code great let's now edit our snippet to be a bit more robust so I will go back to my notepad and then for the example snippet, let's actually try to find any paths that are in the component. So I will say pass equals comp dot find behaviors by type. So I'm using the component object with this method to find a behavior that is, let's try to find one way pass. So I'll say VC underscore one way path. And this will return a list of behaviors in the component that match this behavior. Now, if you don't remember the constants, you can go to the Help tab here, go to Help and Reference, click Python API, and in the Contents tab here, click Constants, and they are Behavior Constants. And if we scroll down, we can see there's the name I'm looking for of that behavior type, so VC underscore one way path. Let's close this, and now go back to our Notepad. And this looks fine, so I will now save the snippet. And if I try to use this again in the Python script, I most likely have to reopen it. But let's try. So I will use the command here this time and insert the snippet. And yep, it seems like I have to reopen it. So I'll close it, open it up again, and let's delete this and try to use the snippet again. And yep, there is our new variable for the snippet. Let's test this out with a conveyor, see how that works. So I will just clear the 3D world real quick by pressing the Control plus N key. Now go to my Home tab, and in my eCatalog panel under Models by Type, I will expand conveyors, click Visual Components, and add this conveyor. I'll now go to the Modeling tab, create a new Python script, and let's use that snippet again. So I'll insert it on line 10, and I'll use the shortcut again of Control plus J. And there we go. Let's test by printing pass, and see if we get any hits. So you can either click the Compile button here, press F9, or you can also press Control plus the S key. And we can see we did get something printed in the output panel. This component has one one-way path. Alright, this concludes the video. If you have any questions, please feel free to visit our forum at forum.visualcomponents.com 
And as always, have a wonderful day.